Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lottie Scroll Animation Widget. Lottie Scroll Animation allows you to seamlessly integrate Lottie animations into your website, adding dynamic visuals that respond to page scrolls. The animation seamlessly adapts to the scroll direction, offering a distinctive site experience. When scrolling back up, the animation gracefully reverses, providing you with the capability to craft truly unique and interactive experiences on your website. With that out of the way, I'm excited to get started, so let's jump into the builder and take a look at how to set this widget up. Here on the builder, we have our RSVP template, and I'd like to add the Lottie Scroll animation widget just below this hero section in here in order to capture the site visitor's attention, give some movement, and set a fun mood for this page. Before we get started, I'm going to jump ahead and show you a finished version of what we'll be creating in this tutorial. If we take a look at our preview site here and we scroll down, we can see that Lottie scroll animation adding a nice additional layer of life and interaction on this otherwise static page. Let's jump back into the builder here and let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is just below this hero section, I want to add a new row. And with that row, we can open our widgets panel, grab that Lottie scroll animation widget, drag and drop right into that row and immediately we're greeted with the widget. And if we scroll, we can see that it's preloaded with this nice smooth Lottie animation, but we're not gonna use that for our example. So let's scroll back up and let's jump into the options panel to take a look at how to set this widget up. Here in the options panel, we have our content tab and in the content tab, there are a number of options available to configure this widget. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Starting with the first option, which is this hyperlink, you'll find under Find Lottie Files at. This hyperlink will take you to the LottieFiles.com site where you can find your Lottie files. But more on this in just a bit. Let's head back into the builder and continue on down. The next option we have is the Lottie Source. This dropdown is where you will pick which source you want to use for your Lottie file. There are two options that can be used to add your Lottie file into the widget. We have URL and file. Clicking on URL will then allow us to use this Lottie JSON URL field. And in this field is where you will paste the URL to the Lottie JSON file. This is the option that we'll be using in this example. However, before we go through the steps of getting that JSON URL, let's take a look at our second Lottie source option, which is the file option. Clicking on file, will then present us with these new options. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see the file for download option. Clicking that and then clicking plus file will allow us to open up our file library. In here, we can use upload files and upload our JSON file directly to the site and then select it as I have here. And if we wanted to use this file, we can then click done and it would add that into the widget but we're not gonna use that today. We're gonna to use the URL option. So let's close this, scroll back up, select URL, and let's jump into the Lottie JSON URL field. And now we can take a look at how to obtain that Lottie JSON URL. Let's go ahead and first close this tab for the Lottie Files website, just to avoid any confusion. And then we can paste the link that I have saved for that heart animation for our demo. Now, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you are logged in. Once you're logged in, you can see here on the right hand side, you will have a generate link button. Clicking this will bring up a new window where you can save that animation. I'll select first project and click save. Once the project is saved, we can see that we now have multiple URLs for this animation available to us. The one that we want is the JSON option. So we can now click that copy URL button and we can see here that it is copied to our clipboard. Jumping back into the builder, we can go ahead and paste that right into the widget. And immediately if we start scrolling, we can see that heart animation is looking great. All right, let's continue on down to the next option in the content tab, which is the play once option. When enabled, this will make the animation only play once per page load. 
We'll leave that disabled. Following that, we have animation speed. In this dropdown, we have three options, slow, medium, and fast. This sets the height of the widget. So the fast animation speed means the widget is shorter, requiring less scrolling to reach the end of the animation, whereas the medium and slow speeds result in a taller widget requiring more scrolling to reach the end of the animation. We'll set our example to fast. Coming on down from that, we have animation duration. This sets the speed at which the animation progresses during scrolling. A larger duration means the user will need to wait longer after scrolling through the widget to see the final animation. And with a shorter duration, the animation will finish faster as the user scrolls. We want the animation to be completed before the user finishes scrolling past, so we'll set a lower duration such as 3. Okay, and that's it for the content tab. Now let's jump into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Here in the design tab, we have a couple of options available. We'll start at the top once again and work our way down. First option we have is the widget background option. In here we have color or image. Now ideally you'll be using color. So let's look at the background color option. This sets the background color behind the Lottie animation. We want to change this to no color. That way, the heart animation can stand out against the site background without any intrusive background colors in the widget itself. Next, we have the animation vertical alignment. This sets the vertical alignment of the animation within the widget's container. We don't need to change this, so we'll leave that on center. And then that's going to do it for the design tab. We can go ahead and close this widget, grab that preview URL, jump into a new tab, paste, and let's take a look at what we've created. Here in the site preview, if we scroll down the page, we can see that Lottie animation animating into view, and it really makes this whole page feel alive and fun. As we reverse and scroll up the page, we can see the animation reversing as well, and it provides some very nice interactions to this page. Also, be sure to check out our demo page for this widget to get inspired with ideas on other ways you might be able to use this widget on your site. That's going to do it for this widget. Once again, my name is Norman Durkee, and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.